Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's been a long time since I've done an OSC pilot uh, tutorial. Last time, my hair was all fucked up. My, uh, <laughs> I didn't know really what I was doing. I was just a, a kid out of high school with fucking, uh, you know, an addiction to dead mouse. So I downloaded the software and was fucking around with it. But it's been a been a while. I've actually been producing a lot, and I've been actually. Uh, DJing and doing performance stuff, so I kind of think I know what I'm doing a little bit right now, especially after watching tons of tutorials on stuff and self-learning. And I wanted to share what we were, what I've been learning with uh, with you guys. So I'm making a follow-up to my other video. Now I'm gonna turn on to this right here. Ignore this. This is just stuff from Splice. I threw some stuff in here quickly because I wanted to make this video real quick. I didn't really make anything original for this. But, um, so this is Ableton. And, uh, I'm, as you know, you can, like, do a lot with Ableton. You can actually, this little feature, you can actually MIDI map shit, which I figured out way later on. I'm now more advanced in it. Um, but here's what I have going on so far. Let me turn it up for you. Okay, so that's that, all right? I don't wanna have to go through it. I'm gonna be linking two videos in the description. Um, one of them is my old video, which funnily enough, even though I didn't know what I was doing, got featured on the, the website for this. So that was a surprise. Number two is that uh, um, the software is gonna be linked and the other video, the second video, which I've been watching a lot of this guy's stuff on OSC Pilot is also going to be down there below. And that's where I learned a lot of this shit. But I'm going to make it a lot more clean cut for you very quickly. So, as I showed in my other video, you're going to need a software. Obviously, you're going to need OSC Pilot. But you're also going to need a uh, Loop MIDI. And I've updated my thing a little bit. Because I was using a machine, Mark III, for my interface. So I just called it 2 Machine From Machine. I have now since renamed it to From Pilot and 2 Pilot as my two ports. Um, and yeah, that's all you need to know. Again, I'm going to go through this really quickly. In your preferences and whatever doll you're using, make sure you have your ins, all of them checked for From Pilot. Because it's going to be coming from Oscillator. Uh, I keep saying that. OSC Pilot. Open Sound Control. Fuck me. Uh, OSC Pilot. It's going to be coming from that, so I named it From Pilot. And uh, again, you're going to want to take your inputs and make sure you have your input from Pilot and output to Pilot. I made the naming a lot easier. Okay, so there's that. Close that out now. And now you should have it all set. And now we're going to transition to. Let me bring it onto the screen. OSC pilot okay so you're going to go settings and make sure your output is from pilot because you're sending out from us uh, osc pilot to ableton and the input is going to be to pilot and that's ableton sending to uh osc pilot that's what i have okay um and as you can see here if i can move my camera really quick might be helpful actually i'll move it here because I got to show what's in that corner. Um, anyway, I have my logo here. Don't really need to put your logo in here. But since I made the template, I thought it would be kind of cool. Um, let me actually do this. Just so it's... Uh... Okay, well, my taskbar is cutting it off. But you get the gist. Uh, this is a, a template I'm making right now. That's going to make my mixing a lot easier because i don't have one of those giant 5088s from neve that dead mass has i don't have money to spend on expensive mix boards and stuff i just need something that i can do ideas with quick get a rough uh, mix out and then master and all that stuff so i made this this is my next this is my solution to that so here we have here we have our a play button, a stop button, a bunch of faders, which I can assign to my different 
uh, channels in my Ableton, and then a master fader for the master volume. Um, this one I use a lot because when I'm streaming over Discord or something, I just want to turn my project down so it's not jostling or harsh in the ears to the people I'm streaming to, things like that. It's just a nice to have. But um, as some of the tutorials I was looking at before, um, in my other video, I didn't know what MIDI CC was. But it's kind of uh, the way that I see it is a sub-channel. So every uh, MIDI channel has a bunch of sub-channels that can be assigned so that they're not clashing with each other. You have multiple things doing the same thing, you know? That sort of thing. It's just sub-channels. <laughs> the MIDI note, you actually don't need to use unless you're doing an instrument, is what I've, uh, from the things I'm reading and things I've been watching, tell me to do. So that's that's perfect. I'm not using it as an instrument. I'm using it as cue buttons to play stop. And I'm using these faders to do whatever. So for this one, I just have all of these on MIDI channel 16 just to make it easy. And then I'm using all the sub channels to control this. So 16, MIDI CC1, MIDI channel 16, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, blah, 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 blah. You get the gist, okay? So, uh, that should be pretty simple, right? Um, to be honest, it took me a while to figure out. I'm still have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just looking at tutorials and I'm trying to condense it down for you guys. Um, but uh, I'm trying my best. I'm learning. I always want to learn. So, I just want to share my learnings with you, okay? So again, you have your output from Pilot, because that's coming out from us. OSC pilot to uh, Ableton and then input is to pilot because Ableton is coming to pilot so simple um, I have all this but now what you need to do uh, you by the way this all these faders will not work at least I was not able to get them to work and I'm very not fluent in this stuff o OSC is kind of new to me and so this is the first time I've I've like actually gotten in depth to try to learn it for a bit and i'm trying to condense what i learned down to you guys um sliders i'm pretty sure you can get it to work but i'm not sure if it's uh necessarily the best way and i have uh, it was very it kind of worked i had it to where when i was doing the faders and stuff it would actually uh it would actually work but it wouldn't actually work and i'll show you what i mean in a second so i'll just drag one of these down for you and I'll do, what is this? That's 21, okay, I'll do MIDI channel 16, and I'll do 22, and I this will be temporary, okay? Um, Not 22, 8, 22. Okay, so this isn't my touch screen, so you're gonna have to give me a second while I change this over. Do, 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 do. Okay, so display capture properties. I should have had another thing set up for this already. There we go. Perfect. All right. No, I'm, oh my God. Face cam. Okay, let's move this like here. All right. Now. I'm going to show you what I mean. Actually, would this be better? Yeah, we'll do this. Okay, so let's play this right now. Um, these faders, you see um, that, that slider shit, right? This thing right here. I'm going to show you what happens when I mapped it. And maybe someone can help me in the comments. Or maybe I'll reach out in the forums and see if they can help me. But uh, this is what I got. So this is the thing. So we're going to go into performance mode. Boom. You have your sliders here. Now I'm going to switch back to Ableton. My Ableton screen. Oh, shit. Perfect. All right. Now you see these faders down here? Watch when I watch what happens when I map these. Um... These are already mapped. Uh, some of these are already mapped. So let's map this, okay? Oh, fuck. Map. 
mapping to the slider. It just see now it added a map thing. It's mapped. But watch what happens. Watch it magically work. Okay. I'm dumb. <laughs> it magically works. I, I've, I've solved the problem. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, apparently it does work, but I'm going to, I'm going to go and show you what I did in the, in the other way anyway, just because I feel like it's a, it's might be better this way. Cause I can map it to other things. This thing right here. Well, you can all map these other things. Obviously it's obvious at this point, I don't know, really know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to share my knowledge so that people that don't know even more than what I know. You know, if, if they're way l lower in knowledge than me, at least I can pass on some intermediate knowledge so that they can kind of go up the step ladder and find their way, you know, just trying to help. Okay, so let's go back to shit. Uh, properties. That's wrong. Okay this perfect okay all right so midi okay so what we're gonna do here is i'm gonna quickly map everything the way i want it so that way i can do this little demonstration um, so let me do that real quick. There we go. Do that. Do that. And do that. Perfect. One, two. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And then my master, I will map this to this. Okay. So, actually, let's do this. Perfect. Now you can all see. Perfect. Let's turn all this down, right? And my master, I'll put it on the normal level, like right about there. And uh, we'll, 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 I'll show you what I did. So, as I said, there, I choose one channel. It's best because it's keep organized. Choose one channel. I chose 16. <laughs> And make your CCs your sub channels and sub channel each button. Um, let me make sure this is mapped one more time. Oh, that's it. it is okay. Perfect. So I've mapped it now in Ableton. You hit the way you map in Ableton is that the you use uh, Control M and it'll map. If you're on Windows, I don't know what it is on Mac. I don't use Mac. Or you can hit the little MIDI map thing in the top. Uh, top right of Ableton and then click the button or thing you're trying to map and then click that whatever you, uh, you want to use the control like if you want to use a keyboard or a knob twist that knob after you clicked on the thing you want to do and it'll create a map to that knob and then your MIDI keyboard you turn that knob it does the thing in Ableton pretty self-explanatory so let's hit play it's now playing but there's no audio going through. But look, I have my faders down here. Down. So if I want to introduce the drums. So now I can do like quick mixes and shit. Same thing. Bring the pads in. down so you guys can hear me a little bit bring the bass in so as you can see now i don't have crazy money to spend on a freaking giant mix console i could do little mixes here and there now i know people that are professionals and people that are actually doing this full time and do this as a 
as a career, they're going to look at this and say, you can't get as fine control with this. And you, because it's a touch screen, the surface might not be the best uh, for moving stuff. And they're just not going to like it. They like their, their actual mechanical faders. But for someone who's just trying to do quick and dirty stuff, like at home and just do a quick, quick little thing where you're doing live and you want to do this, you can actually make an entire template that goes across the entire touch screen or whatever and you can make a template that has drum pads so you can play drums live like i showed in my other video you can uh, have this stuff where you cut stuff out and bring it back in you can just uh, it opens up unlimited possibilities um basically so the the way i'd explain osc pilot for people who are unsure sorry about that people that are unsure what it's all about and what exactly it is um best way i can explain it is it is a way for you to make uh midi controllers on touch screens so you can make your own custom controller and you can control a bunch of stuff i know dead mouse and his team use it for not just ableton uh and live sets but they use it for visuals and they use it for other things basically open sound control can be used for a lot of things and it helps uh you know control things and it helps synchronize things and that's why it's called open sound control is because it's for controlling things and so you obviously he made a whole software here that you can create your own midi controllers with a touch screen now or you can play live and you can trigger things and do a bunch of cool stuff this is just a quick video showing my use case for it um, maybe I'll leave my template for this in in the description or the uh, down with the other videos, and I will show let other people use this, and they can map it for their their um, their other stuff. But I might make more future videos. But I just kind of wanted to update because I, I I haven't made a video on this in a while, and I was struggling to find a way for me to easily uh, mix and, and stuff without having to use my mouse to control things. And I stumbled across this software again, and it's very, very handy. After watching a few tutorials, I even looked back at mine, and I was like, that tutorial was very amateurish, and I'm surprised it was featured on the, the website's page, but um, I thought I'd give it another go, share some more knowledge that I found from more tutorials. Definitely check this out. Check out the other tutorials on the website. I also linked the tutorial that I watched that helped me a lot. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I get some more cool use out of this besides uh, that one video. I'll make some more cool templates or something. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment. Also, feel free to go check out my music. Uh, I have new music coming out as a new alias called Morse Code. Um, but you can also find my other two aliases, which have music out already. Um, Sad Thought, Spotify, YouTube, all platforms, and uh, TM Glitch. Uh, same thing. It's on all platforms. Um, yeah, but thanks for watching. Have a good one.